Hello Beauty News family, welcome to this week's episode of The Makeup Breakup. Today we attempted something... Ew. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. We're not going to lie. No. Um, we will put timestamps in the description box if you want to jump, if you want to jump, skip this intro, but I promise you, if you complain that it's a shit video, you should have watched the intro. Yep. We know this was a big fail. Mm -hmm. And we were tempted to scrap this idea or scrap the footage in general, but it took us hours and the lip products cost a bit of money. So yeah. we decided to just put it up anyway and possibly use it as a way to ask for better tips. Yep. Maybe um, some suggestions. Some suggestions or ideas on how we can do like measure liquid lipsticks in the future. So what did we try to do? And mind you, we did test this with ColourPop ones did. and it worked really well. Yes. So essentially what we did was we took three Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Mm -hmm. We took one of her glosses, one of her traditional matte liquid lipsticks and a metallic liquid yeah. lipstick. And we attempted to see how much product was actually in yeah. them. Because we there has been rumors that some of them are like a half filled. Yes. Um, especially the metallic yeah, ones. Yeah. Yeah. So we used alcohol to break up the product inside the tube, mm -hmm. which worked to some extent, but we still had, uh, it just, you have to see, it just yeah. didn't quite, things just didn't go to plan. Mm -hmm. um, however, it was very frustrating for us because we did test this out with ColourPop on three liquid lipsticks and it worked beautifully. Yeah. So... I hope you guys can get past the fact that this video was a bit of a failure. Yeah. I hope you can enjoy it and potentially check it out and maybe if you've got some suggestions for yeah. how we could better break up the product. Yeah, we'd love to know. We would. Okay, so we're going to tell you what we found anyway because the results were inconclusive and it was a bit of a shit show. So you can just watch it and enjoy it, but you're not going to take much from this. So we're just going to tell you what we found anyway. Essentially, what we tried to do was get a measured amount of alcohol that we were going to control, try to break up the product, pour it out into a measuring tube, and then minus the amount of alcohol that we added in. And that's how we're going to find out how many mils were in these products. Grams are so much easier. Mills yeah. are a lot harder to measure. Um, it was it didn't work. But what we did find, which was really weird, was every measurement that we took, no matter how crude and shit it ended up being, they were all quite significantly under yeah. what the um, packaging claimed. Yeah. Now there could have been some still left in the in the containers, but you'll see at the end as well that like we cleaned them out pretty well. We did. Even the lip gloss that was really hard to clean out, mm -hmm. we you have a look at you can see it down the tube at the end. There wasn't much product no. in there. So we found it really hard to measure properly and it was a really long process and it took hours. But we are quite confident that... They don't contain they don't... what they're meant to. Yeah. And I actually... I would love to redo this video yeah. when we have a like set in stone way of having conclusive evidence. Yeah. We did try with a ColourPop... Um, liquid lipstick yep. to just uh, take it, it out. out with a spatula, no, no go. It was Doesn't really, work. really hard to do. So um, we really do need to put something in there to break down and make it more liquidy. So yep. if you have any suggestions, we would love to hear them. Mm -hmm. But this video is a fail. Yep. It'll be in the title. Yeah. Title. We know it's a fail, but yep. enjoy the destruction. another two mils of alcohol to the lip gloss because this stuff is really really thick 
um, and it's kind of difficult to break up. So we're just working on it slowly. We put in six mils and we've loosened a lot of it up, but we've still got a bunch in there that won't budge. It's so thick. Okay, so we're going in with one more mil. This is, this lip gloss is the, gonna be the death of me. Okay, so we're, we're just trying to loosen it up and get the product out, but it seems like the only product that's coming out is the alcohol. stained alcohol. <laughs> Okay, so this is a bit of a strange thing going on. This is so thick that it's requiring so much alcohol to break it down and get all the product out. And we're a bit concerned that it will overflow out of this if we have to put too much more in it. So we're gonna put this off to the side for now. We understand that this is alcohol, so it will likely evaporate. So we've marked it with um, a Sharpie. And we'll come back to this. Okay, so we're going to attempt this with the liquid lipstick, which should break down a lot easier than the gloss. So fingers crossed, we've got two mils here. We're gonna pour a little bit at a time because these don't hold much. We don't want it to overflow. And just like last time, little spatula, we're gonna just agitate it up. So we're getting somewhere, but we're going to do another two mils just to clean it out properly um, and to try to get some of that down as well, if possible. I can see there's a fucking bunch of it at the bottom. There's not too much. Not too no, much? No, no, it's just the liquid. Oh, good. All right. Okay, so that's pretty clean. We might let it stand for a bit. Get that last drippy drip down. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you can see that this is um, right under what is it, seven mils? Yep. Um, we're gonna try to shake it to see if it settles it down and we can get this stuff off the sides. It's a bit risky. Please, Jesus. But you can see that we've taken all of that out, so yep. that worked, but wish me luck. And yes, I've got some on my hands. No, we can't take that into account. <laughs> Okay, so it's not settling quick enough and we're getting impatient. So we're doing one more mil of alcohol and I'll mix it up again. And hopefully that settles it. Okay, so in total we have added five mils. Yep. And we will let this one settle. Pedal. Pedal. We need to fucking settle pedal for Mate. sure. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Mate, I just don't know why the universe has to do this to us. I know. But look how clean that was. Go yeah, to Yeah, we got it out. We got it out. Can you see that guys? This one's gonna be a tough one because that looks solid as a rock. 
that's a reference to a song if you got it like this video okay so we've got very little faith in this one so we've started out with four mils hopefully that's all we need but I don't have any George Michael faith unfortunately Okay, so in conclusion, this was a bit of a mess, um, like literally, and uh, like it, it was yeah. a mess, but it was also didn't work out very well. So the gloss was really, really thick and was really hard to get out. So um, sort of what we've concluded based on this, you're supposed to have 2.6 mils. Um, and if you minus the amount of alcohol we put into this, uh, there's 1.5 mils. Now, if you do look into this, which I'll see if I can get it focusing, um, there's not much product in there whatsoever. We're not missing 1.1 gram in there. Like this is, even though it's got some on the side, it, it is definitely empty. So unless like that could have been... It's hard. We can't determine if we've lost too much product or there's too much on the side, um, but it could definitely be short, but it was really hard to tell. Now, these guys we've cleaned out a lot better, especially the metallic one. Um, and this one probably had the best reading. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to have three mils in it. You can see that it's pretty cleaned out. So there shouldn't be any product left in there or enough to make a big difference. So I don't know if you can see there, but it's around the eight mil mark. We added in six mils. Um, so we can determine that there's around two and a half mils that we got out of this. So it's supposed to be three. So once again, it could be some on the top. Um, we don't know if it's a full half a mil short or, but. There's been claims that these are really, really, like they're half empty. This one isn't half empty, it's almost there. So we can't conclude that if it's got the, if it's got the full amount, but it's definitely close. This one was also a bit of a failure. We can def definitely determine that it's quite pigmented though, because when you shake it up, oh my God. it takes a, like a lot of alcohol to settle. So we had to add in heaps extra. Now this was supposed to have 3.25 mils and we had to put in around eight mils to try to get it clear up here to see where it's at. And it's above 10 mils. So it is just over two mils of product. Once again, this is very empty. So um, it's definitely short. We don't know how much, but, but it's, it's definitely yeah, short. It's gotta be. So this is all a bit of a fail, except for this one. I think this one, um, we can definitely say that it's close to the three mils, but I don't think you get three mils of product in there. Um, what we might do now, just for fun with this one, is clean it out and see how much water we can fill in there to see if it actually can reach three mils. One other thing that I wanna quickly conclude is this spatula is pretty rubbish at taking product out. It does mix it around a bit, mm -hmm. um, but it fits in but yeah. it doesn't actually scoop the product out very well. So if you were after a spatula, this one looks cool, but it yeah doesn't do that much. So thanks every drop lip spatula that we purchased, not sponsored. All right, so here in our test tube, we have three mils of water, which this tube is supposed to contain three mils of metallic liquid lipstick. Yeah. We're gonna tip it in and see if it can actually hold that much product.
All right, so it definitely can hold three mils. Mm -hmm. And we, we don't know if it does. We prove nothing. <laughs> Yeah, we don't break those test tubes. No, come back, come back. They're guys. expensive. I think we can conclude that we didn't prove a whole lot of anything with this, which frustrates us because we actually did test this out before we started and we were having good results. Yep. Um, but that's just the way things go sometimes. So we hope you enjoyed this video somewhat. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to offer suggestions on breaking down liquid lipsticks. We have tried alcohol, oil, makeup remover, yep. and oil-based makeup remover. So if you have any other suggestions, we will take them. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.